Adding files and folders to Mahara is relatively easy, and there are two ways you can go about this. Simply go to a files area that you have access to. Practicing in the My Files area is best, because then they are only available to you. To get there, go to My Portfolio, and then My Files. You can keep your files nicely organized into folders by typing a folder name into this box here and clicking Create Folder. You can create as many folders and subfolders as you like to keep your files organized. Once you have created your folders, you can upload your files directly into them. Go to the folder you would like to upload your files into. For example, I'm going to upload some images, so I will go to my Images folder. If you have a copyright notice, you will need to tick this first. The copyright notice can be turned off by a site administrator. Once the box is ticked, then your Upload button will become activated. Click Browse and find your file. Click Open and it will be automatically uploaded to the folder you are currently in. The copyright notice will remain checked, so you just have to keep clicking Browse to upload new files. If you would like to upload a lot of files at once, you can zip them into a compressed folder. You can then upload the zip file to your files area and unzip it directly in Mahara by clicking unzip to the right of the uploaded zip file. You will be given a screen that confirms how many files are in it, how many folders, how much space it will require, and a list of the file names contained within it. Click unzip to continue. Your files are now unzipped into a new folder. For example, my zip file was called Poetry, so when I unzipped it, it created a folder called Poetry with the files inside. This way, you can set out the structure of your folders and files in your file browser on your computer, zip the whole lot, and when you unzip it in Mahara, it will retain its structure. Moving files around in your Mahara files area is quite easy. Simply click and drag the file icon to the folder you would like it to go to. Let's say I want to move some of the files in my poetry folder into the one called writing. I would go to my poetry folder and drag them into the parent folder like this. Then I would return to the parent folder. My files are now all here. From here, I can drag them into the writing folder. You can even drag whole folders into others. I will drag the poetry folder into the writing folder. Now, when I go into writing, there are the files I had dragged in here and there is the poetry folder. Just drag and drop to move things around. <laughs>